the block, which is led by Hannah and her kind of boyfriend, is coming to Renton's house to steal script. What the heck is script? 30,000 in Stomachem scripts, Environ, 65,000. Jackpot, over a million in tourist scripts. We're gonna have ourselves a good time, boys. It's for the cause, <laughs> brother. Yeah, yeah, of course. We're gonna get a finder's fee. I mean, you gotta take a finder's fee. That's 100%. I mean, I actually agree with that as the, mm -hmm. if, if they're, so they're on the block side and I yep. would, if I'm on the block and I'm telling people to go out and scavenge, mm -hmm. I would say, mm -hmm. yeah, you got to keep some percentage or whatever you find. Cause it's, it's good incentive to get people out there. Right. So you take like, they get to keep 30%. The blocks keep 70% really motivates people to get out there and find script. Cause otherwise, but why am I going out to risk? Like that? That's right. Yeah. The interesting part 30, is in Stolmachem scripts, Stolmachem scripts. That's what I heard. Environs. Okay. 60. Environs. 5,000. Jackpot. Over a million in tourist scripts. Is that a million in tourist scripts? So there's at least three currencies in circulation in this sort of dystopian world. But he is able to store the script in a locker. Mm -hmm. So, but it doesn't look like hard currency in the sense of like cash money with paper. It looks like right. cards. It looks like cards. And so... It could be, yeah. So I'm, I'm guessing it's not cards in the fa in the sense of like credit cards, where you have an electronic mm -hmm. account somewhere else, and then yeah. and then because because otherwise these companies could just shut it down, like whatever, and we delete mm -hmm. delete your money. Right? Right. Um, so I guess these physical cards are physical in his hand, have some type of chip in them or something that assigns their value, um, mm -hmm. or maybe like a QR code that assigns their value or something. Yeah, which means I think that means cryptocurrency. Because cryptocurrency has a lot of benefits that you can store off the grid by storing your, essentially your signature, your digital signature mm -hmm. off the grid. Um, and I guess you could, you could make signatures that own, say, 10,000 of a particular cryptocurrency at a time. And you put that, in a Q, that signature in a QR code on the card. Um, and so if you have a stack of these cards, you're owning, that's 10,000 for each card of a particular mm -hmm. cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. The other interesting thing is that there's multiple currencies. Like in the world we right. have today, when you're in a location, we, ha we use US dollars in the United States. There aren't like multiple currencies out there at the same time. So as I understand, like back when the US was founded, banks would make their own currencies and distribute them wherever. Mm -hmm. So there were multiple competing currencies between different banks. So have we gone back to that, where it's like kind of a free for all, like different companies and organizations create their own currencies all the time? I think that's exactly the situation. So if the large government structure, which is holding all the people together mm -hmm. and saying like, we should all trust in the same currency, the same dollar, if that fails, then you have these big corporations, they named mm -hmm. three, that are like, we have all these employees, we have all this infrastructure, we have all these supply chains, like mm -hmm. we're gonna make our own currency and then that way our people can work with themselves and trade around because we can't right. trust the stability of the government level dollar. Yeah, I think this I think this is also entirely plausible. Yeah, oh yeah. So, so if, it, if, if society is falling apart and the central government becomes weaker and weaker, you sort of get this chaos Mm -hmm. and decentralize cryptocurrencies with multiple entities creating their own kind of makes sense it's kind of interesting i mean yeah. heck to make it to make it a bit concrete if the us dollar became untrustworthy but facebook's employees still needed to have lunch i mean facebook would just make a lunch credit like a stamp card right <laughs> that's effectively currency well that's right and, this, and then they maybe start making it more official as time goes on mm -hmm. and they sort of build up their own Facebook economy. Yeah. And all of a sudden you've got a currency called like Facebook coin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Which then you could store in a locker or a safe and people would want to steal it because then they could buy lunch. I like it. I mean, I don't like it, but it makes sense. <laughs> I mean, I like I like the world building. It, it's okay, great. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to live in that world. <laughs> 